Hello. Guys, these guys are harder to deal with than alligator snappers. It's my foot. It's my other foot. Hello, how is everyone doing? Hope everyone had an awesome World Turtle Day. Today's video is gonna be kind of a recap. I did a little bit of trapping a few days ago with my buddy Michael from the Colonia cast, and we checked some traps. And then on World Turtle Day, last night, I went out and I tried to get my annual hand capture of an alligator snapping turtle. So come along and let's go see some turtles. So I placed a trap over here and one of the turtles in the trap is our old friend, whoa, our old friend, the spiny soft shell. That's a big old female. Definitely not the biggest we've seen, but you know, adult females are always impressive. Look at those lips, jaws. And she has like kind of a weird thing going on with her tail. She's got a split nose too. So it looks like she's been uh, chomped on by somebody. But I always love seeing their little flippers. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> oh, she's gonna bury right away? All right, so other turtles in the trap include the infamous yellow-bellied slider. This one has some big old leeches on it. Oh, there's our ten of sardines. Yep, more yellow-bellied sliders. So we're gonna release these guys. Got Michael Skibstead helping me out today, by the way. Check out the uh, Colonia cast. I'll post a link down below. All right, so just pulled our next trap out of this mess. And inside of it is this mess. It is not fun taking a common snapper out of a hoop net. And we also got two yellow-bellied sliders, as always. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, so we got Michael here with our Good sized male common snapping turtle. And just checking him out. Looks pretty healthy. Looks like he's been doing good in this creek. So, yep. Typical common snapper disposition. Pleasant. Always pleasant. This one's got a lot of spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, that neck, that neck can reach way back. That's one of their notable defensive abilities. In addition to really sharp curved claws, you can see Michael's got a little bit of a boo-boo there. And that's just what happens when you mess with these guys. These guys are harder to deal with than alligator snappers, even if they're a fraction of the size. I just feel like these guys can, can and do like inflict more damage just in handling. All right, so we're gonna release this guy. He looks happy. <laughs> and now we're gonna do a little double yellow belly release. I'm gonna like a turtle race. All right, there we go. Good job. Splash. I think you need a little extra motivation. I think you need a lot extra motivation. What are you doing? Really? Seriously? Okay. All right, so next trap, <laughs> another common snapping turtle. I was telling Michael in streams like this that don't really have any serious depth to them and go through floodplains, it really seems like that's where you see more of the common snapping turtles, you know, in places where these guys are kind of sharing the same habitat. These guys seem to do better in the shallow floodplain stuff. Whereas the alligator snappers, they like water depth and big deep bends, that kind of stuff. So pretty neat though. Traps work really, really good. We got some cool stuff today, so time to let these guys go. All right, so we're gonna, we got this big old male in this trap and uh, we're just gonna release him. It has been a uh, common snapper kind of day. 
which is cool. On my channel, you end up seeing a lot of alligator snappers and not a lot of these guys, so that's pretty neat. Look at him go. Something about that just seemed that elicit some primordial like. Oh yeah, it's a catch. All right, so this is our last common snapper from the day. We only set four traps and three of the four traps had uh, common snappers in them. So been a good day for seeing these guys, but and let him go. And look at that ball of leeches too. That is impressive. He's got some got some roommates. Squatters. <laughs> impressive shell. Well. <laughs> it's funny how they'll like they'll turn around sometimes. Leave me alone. All right, so I was walking some of this edge along this water and one by one I was finding these guys, little stink pots, just in different little age classes. So you got probably a two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, all back to back. Pretty cool. Whee! Got a little stink pot right here. Hey, come here. Come here, you little stinker. Look at you. Look at those bright white stripes. Very, very abundant, very common, hence the name common musk, but not common in all parts of their range, but here they are. And I mean, I think that's a really good looking turtle. And I think it's awesome to every now and then stop and appreciate the common stuff. And uh, because they're just as cool as the things that you see less often. Let's put it back where I found it. Roggerhead musk. You know it. Awesome turtle. Are you good at it? You good on it? Yeah. Put it back here where I found it. What's the ratio of like male to female to the We were walking past this rock and I saw this guy. They're having a little bit of a bath. A juvenile spiny soft shell. Michael rushed in and grabbed it. So this looks a lot different than the adults. These guys have like a cleaner pattern on the carapace and um, obviously a lot smaller, but really cool turtles. All right, so we set those traps with Michael, checked them, and uh, did not get any alligator snappers. I was trying to get um, a possible range extension, so I was kind of trapping outside of an area I normally do. Today, I'm gonna to focus on working some of these streams that I know have them, and we'll probably end up shining later tonight and see if that produces um, good luck. So we'll see how it goes. Hey, have a slider. This looks to be a yellow-bellied slider that has a whole lot of influence from the red-eared slider because typically with yellow bellies, your spots on the bottom are gonna be kind of confined more towards the front. So this looks like, especially with this being a more urban area, somebody's released red-eared sliders and at some point they, they bred with the yellow-bellied sliders and they create these um, integrates. They're not really a hybrid. Some people like to use the word hybrid. Little slider. And uh, we'll put him back on his rock that I saw him resting on. He was right here. And I just grabbed him before I could grab my phone because I thought I was gonna lose him. But he found a little place to hang on right there. Please hang on right there. Goodbye! Right, so right here I have a nice big pile on the bottom of um, 
well, essentially, scat from an alligator snapping turtle. You can see it's all just crushed up shells. Let me get a handful of this and show you. And so this is what they've been eating. Lots of corbicula from what I can see here. And they just crush it all up. And then it just comes out the back end like that. Right here, more evidence. So this is where um, one of them is eating a mussel and they basically get it in their mouth, roll around, chew it and break it and then um, eat the meat out of it. A lot of times they just end up swallowing a large portion of it. So uh, that's usually what, why you're only left with, you know, little bits of them, but pretty cool. So yeah, sometimes the uh, alligator snapper scat is actually super visible. You can kind of see it from long distances. So no, you know you're in like a really good area when you see that and it's just everywhere you look. Alright, first turtle of the night, stick hunt. There he goes. Alright, got a sleeping turtle right here. It looks like a uh, little river cooter taking a nap at night right here on this little basking log. Hey buddy. You sleeping? Hey, I'm sorry. He'll be fine. He'll come back up and go back to sleep. All right, here we go. We're hiking around, keeping our eyes peeled, <clears throat> looking for anything we can get on this awesome world turtle day. So let's see what we can find. Lots of stuff to look for. Lots of spider webs to walk through. Good lord. They have been busy. They like to catch bugs. It's been a while since I've done some night shines and I know you guys like these videos. So fingers crossed we get something good. All right, got an alligator snapping turtle right there. Hard to see, but it looks like a female on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in and grab her. I'm sure there's no other in the area. Usually when there's a female, there's a male nearby. So we'll see what this is. So this is a good sized female, and this is probably one of the ones um, I've captured before, just doing some hand capture surveys. It looks pretty familiar. Um, usually what I do is I look at the striations on the upper jaw, kind of match that up with some photos that I have. But what an impressive animal. And she was just sitting there eating some mollusks. You can see those heavily developed uh, lower and upper jaws and you know she's got a nice worn carapace so you know this is a pretty old turtle so i'm not going to hold her for too long um going to try and see if i can get some uh, measurements and data on her and then let her go all right so got some info off of this girl and just going to let her kind of disappear into the night go back into her clear shallow stream and i love these guys i love seeing the females i love seeing the males um, it's just awesome to be able to work with these animals and see them in their natural environment. I mean, there's just nothing better in the world. That's my foot. That's my other foot. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to not stress her out. I'm going to let her find her own way back home. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Peace. Bye-bye.